I'm Kim Shapiro, registered dietitian in Southern California, and I'm here today to talk to you about postpartum nutrition. This is for all the new moms. Once you've given birth to your little miracle, it's time to revisit your nutrition needs. Whether you're breastfeeding or not, you must maintain a healthy and adequate diet to help ensure your health, not to mention to give you enough energy to care for your baby. By following healthy eating habits after you've had the baby will also help you to return to a healthy weight more quickly. If you're going to be breastfeeding, now is not the time to worry about dieting. Although breastfeeding may help you to return to a normal weight faster because it will require a great deal of energy from calories every day, you will still need to eat about 200 more calories a day than you did while you were pregnant. As a breastfeeding mom, you may safely lose about four to five pounds each month without significantly reducing your milk supply. If you're not going to be breastfeeding, you will need about 300 calories fewer a day than while you were pregnant. There are many benefits to breastfeeding besides helping you get back to a normal weight faster. It has been shown to significantly lower your risk of breast and ovarian cancer. Let's talk about some food suggestions while you're breastfeeding. Let's start with protein. You should have about seven servings or seven ounces of protein per day. A serving is about an ounce of fish, poultry, or beef. It's also a third of a cup of nuts or two tablespoons of a nut butter. You can also try having about three ounces of tofu as one of your servings. Another important food group would be milk. Milk provides your body with calcium. You should aim for at least three servings per day. A serving can come from a cup of yogurt, a cup of milk, or two cups of cottage cheese. Another important food group is whole grains. You should aim for about seven a day. A serving is about a half cup of pasta or rice, a slice of bread, a half of an English muffin or a waffle. Another important food group are your fruits and vegetables. You should try and include a wide range and no less than three to five servings per day. You should aim for at least one of them to be high in vitamin C. Some of those would include tomatoes, strawberries, oranges, or grapefruit. You should also try and aim for at least one fruit or vegetable that's high in vitamin A something like a carrot or dark greens or even a pumpkin. Another important food group are fats. Try to pick mostly unsaturated fats. Try to aim for about three servings per day from either avocados or olives. And don't forget to still take your prenatal vitamin. If you're having any trouble meeting any of these recommended servings or you notice your baby has been having any discomfort after eating, please talk to your doctor or your pediatrician. Good luck. I'm Kim Shapira, your registered dietitian for Professorate.com.